Hello, everyone. So um, the conversation around testing and production was a very interesting one because it combined a lot of elements. It talked about the balance between the cost, dangers, and risks for working in production. And on the other side, the downsides when you can't work in production. Uh, we surfaced a lot of incidents or thoughts about cases where without working in production, you can't really get to a full understanding of how our system is behaving because of scale, because of the workloads, because of the usage patterns, and a long list of things. And I think you can hear from Charity, she talks about this a lot and very passionate about it uh, in general. Um, so we talked about when we should approach this and what's that equilibrium point where we can uh, best work on this. And within that, we touched on two mindset. The exploratory mindset, where we are trying to explore within production and understand how things are behaving. We're not coming with a predefined set of questions, but reacting or learning as we're adapting to what's actually happening in reality. And the other one is validating hypotheses that we come with uh, in like when working with classic uh, tests. Um, we touched about different ways to test in production, from feature flags, through instrumentation, through uh, uh, network manipulation, and, uh, and also combining chaos engineering into that. So not only testing, but inducing those tests or cases for those tests using uh, chaos engineering. A few interesting uh, takeaways. Um, we, kind of like what I talked about, we saw that there are a lot of cases where you have to work in production. And um, when you combine this with how you deploy and work with software, you're actually getting that added value. And then I'll go from that directly to our uh, call to action. Um, when I mentioned the thing, the part that you're passionate about, um, that without going into production, you can't really get full observability. Because there are a lot of cases that you can't observe in your dev and staging environments. As I mentioned before, because of cases like workloads, specific usage patterns, and uh, uh, specific flows that only happen when code meets reality. We can try and uh, trace or think of all of those situations, but our uh, puny minds, I'm sorry to say, are limited in trying to simulate all of reality. I hope that touches on that <laughs> enough. Um, so I was going to go for our call to action, and what we are aiming at, and uh, Marianne, uh, I think, uh, phrased it very nicely, is that we should think on testing as release agnostic. Uh, we need to find a way so we can look at code releases as a part of the basic process of understanding how our code works and our applications connect with reality. And another uh, interesting phrase on that was uh, to treat release just as another stage in our testing. And I think when we're em embracing a mindset like that, we have a lot of uh, better odds to create the better observability. Thanks, Thank everyone. So